Uh, well, as Al mentioned earlier in the service, today is my last day here at Lakeside. Uh, just to kind of give you an update kind of where things are at with me. Um, back in June, I took a medical leave. Um, the elders were so generous to provide and allow. And the goal was to try to find a solution to my chronic migraine. So I wake up every day with a headache. It never goes away. It's there all the time. It's at best like a 6 or a 7 out of 10. goes all the way up on occasion. And I just kind of hit this point where I really couldn't function anymore. Um, and I couldn't be the pastor that Lakeside needed. And I needed to take some time away to try to get back to the form. And so over the summer, we tried... A lot of things, of course, we all prayed that God would intervene in those months. I went back to my doctors in Chicago at the Diamond Migraine Clinic. I uh, went back to my doctor at Madison at UW. It sounds like I'm clipping a little bit. Uh, and the uh, doctor in UW was like, yeah, I can't do anything for you. Like, great, cool. Come see me in a year. Maybe something will change. All right. <laughs> sounds great. Uh, we're still working with the one down in uh, Chicago. I go back on Tuesday to see him. I spent two weeks in the hospital in July. Um, again, trying to find something that would help. Tried acupuncture, which, gotta say, not a fan. Uh, <laughs> if you're laying on your back, it's not that bad. You just have, because you have to lay still for like an hour, and I can't do that. Like. I'll watch movies sometimes and be like, I hope I never get kidnapped. Not I mean, obviously no one's like, I hope I get kidnapped. But, you know, because like just being bound would be the worst thing in the world. I mean, uh, when you're on your face, like I felt like I couldn't breathe and I'm just laying there like, this is how I die. On this table, stuff full of people. Thankfully, I guess, acupuncture made the headaches worse. So I don't need to go do that anymore. Uh, you may have seen this picture I posted on Facebook of this awesome unit. <laughs> like I said, I was going to try everything and anything. This is basically like a little TENS unit for your forehead. Um, it feels real weird. It doesn't really help, but you know. There's the... Uh, worked with a physical therapist. We were able to rule out basically any like physical cause. Uh, he had me in traction at one point. That was fun, where it was like 17 pounds of pressure pulling on my neck. And, I was just kind of like, all right. Came home and I was like, do I look taller? Like, <laughs> um, we basically ruled all that out. There's not really any physical therapy, chiropractor sort of thing that's going to help. Uh, we basically have come to the conclusion that it's something chemical that's going on in my brain. And we're trying to find a drug combo that will help with that, but we haven't yet. Um, and I'm just kind of back to where I was back in June. And uh, so unfortunately, that leaves us in this place where I just physically can't do the job of lead pastor here. And I deeply wish that it were not so. Um, we love this church. We had every intention of being here for a while. Um, this decision was 100% about not being able to, not at all about not wanting to. And so for us on Friday, one of the other things we're going to try, Adrian and I are going to head down to Florida to stay with her parents. Uh, they live down in the villages down there, some of you may be familiar. So we're going to load Pepe and our new little Corgi, Vinny. That was another thing that happened this summer. Oh. <laughs> we're going to load them into the car and drive 20 hours down in Florida. <laughs> Pray for us and our interior. <laughs> yeah. And uh, we're going to try to live there for a month or so and see if maybe there's some environmental thing that's going on up here. We all know there's some water weirdness in our area. There's some, maybe some air things going on. I don't know. We're just kind of throwing it at the wall and seeing if it helps. Uh, I suppose there are worse places to spend your October. 
up and down in Florida. Um, you know, riding around in a golf cart with a couple corgis, that just sounds like a little slice of heaven if you ask me. <laughs> we are so thankful for the elders here at Lakeside who have been tremendous through this entire process. Um, they've been so generous and so supportive, and I can't thank them enough. Um, thankful for Pastor Don, who's done a phenomenal job here in my absence. Um, he's been great, not only for Lakeside, but as a friend for me. Um, and sounding board, um, sounding board, we've got to hang out and talk, has been awesome. Thankful for him, and of course, we're thankful for all of you. We love you. I have nothing but confidence in the elders of Lakeside and the leadership team as we move <coughs> forward from here. And I know that Lakeside's best days are still ahead of it. This church has never been about any one person. It's always been about Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. And so do you be strong, be committed, press on. The elders are going to lead well. I encourage you to follow well. And by that, I don't mean like we'll just go on with whatever they say and question nothing. Like that's not what I'm saying. When I say follow well, I mean be supportive, but I also mean be communicative. Don't assume that they know your questions before you verbalize them. Uh, they are not mind readers. Give feedback. Give input. They would love to hear from you. Get involved in the process. That meeting in two weeks. Stick around for it. Get involved. Be a part of this. Russ was not Lakeside. I am not Lakeside. You are Lakeside. You are this church. And God is not done here. He's only getting started. And I look forward to seeing what he has in store for all of you. Um, I think that message that we, we heard this morning um, was amazing. It was amazing for me to hear. Uh, it gives me lots of hope, lots of promise. Um, you know, I'm pretty optimistic, and, and I believe every word of that, that God has everything covered. And he knows where we're going. He knows where this couple is going. And he's got it all worked out. And um, Yeah, we're sad. And as Al spoke, you know there's a certain amount of grieving that goes on. But at the same time, there's, there's a lot of of hope and dream that is in this too. Wondering, where is God taking us? What is, what is next? Because we know that God is not finished with any of us yet. Yeah. Praise God for that. Um, and by the way, um, one of the elders, Ned, is out of town working and uh, said to just let you know that he wishes he could be here. He's out of state and, and couldn't be um, we've ordered a Bill Peblar print of the Alabama Lighthouse. It hasn't come yet, so I can't show it to you. Um, but I can show you a map that John is going to hold And there will be a um, sign in the middle of it as well. On the mat, I put um, a gift of appreciation for Pastor Jeremy and Adrian Sexton from your loving family at Lakeside Community Church, October 1st, 2017. And it is going to be outside the doors on the table, <laughs> along with this piece of paper that's just saying, all Lakesiders are invited to, invited to sign this mat. Please, signatures only. We are framing a photo with this man as a gift for Pastor Jim, Jeremy and Adrian. So when the photo is here, um, as you know, he mentioned they're going to be leaving for Florida for a while. So we've got some time. This map will be out in the back at least the next couple of weeks. And then it will be in the office. So if there's anybody that couldn't be here, get the opportunity to sign it. It still will be available. We want as many to sign this as possible. Leave a quarter of an inch around the outside. Don't sign in that because it's going to be framed and that won't show. And we ask that you just sign it. 
it'd be great for everybody to put a greeting on there. But then I'm afraid we all wouldn't get to sign it. So please, if you want to have a greeting, send a separate card to them. Does that sound agreeable? Mm -hmm. We're going to pray for them, and um, we're going to lay hands on them, and we're going to invite any of you that would like to to just reach your hands out toward them as we pray together. God, our Father, you have been so faithful throughout all of eternity, and during this small segment of time here at Lakeside, you've done amazing things. In spite of the things that we have done that sometimes may get in the way. And Father, we don't know why. We don't know why these migraines haven't been healed and why the pain hasn't been taken away from our, our loving pastor, Jeremy. And I, I just have to, have to believe that you have great things in the future, that you continue to lead and teach each one of us and draw us closer to you. I thank you for Pastor. I thank you for Adrian and all of her encouragements. And Father, thank you for bringing healing to her from her recent surgery, that, that you are just so gracious. And now, as we send them off, we do it with heavy hearts, but glad hearts for the, the fact that we got to know them they will always be in our hearts. And Father, we just want to keep touch so that we can learn the rest of this journey that's coming up with them. And we will let them know how we're doing here. Father, thank you for this group. I pray that we would be strong, that we would ask questions that we may have, but that we would keep faithful to you and keep reaching out in our communities and wherever we are reaching out to people for you. May we see people come to know you as Savior and grow and be discipled and to become the leaders of the future. We thank you for all you've done, all you are doing, and all you will be doing in our collective futures. We just pray these things in your precious name and everyone's said. Amen. Amen.